All right, think about this. This right here is Shani Gabay. She's a 25 year old Israeli who was presumed to have been kidnapped on October 7th. It was recently discovered that she was unalived on October 7th. Let me rephrase that. She was identified through just her dental records, her teeth, because on October 7th, when she was in an ambulance, Hamas actually burned that ambulance. So she was not identifiable. And I find it interesting that even over a month and a half later, we are still getting information about October 7th. Because obviously with investigation, as more information is found out, Israel releases it. Yet I'm to believe that the Gaza Health Ministry is able to say 500 were dead and we counted it in five seconds. The pro-Palestinians will keep talking about the difference in technology between the two because Israel gets all this stuff and the blockade stops everything and anything from coming inside Gaza. Yet none of them will question the fact when the Gaza Health Ministry, Hamas, says anything. Remember earlier in this conflict when the hospital was hit by Israel and they said 800 were killed within hours? But then the very next morning we found out the hospital, which is those two buildings that are untouched in the back except for some windows, was totally okay. It was a lot with a few burned cars. Also, by the way, no crater, meaning that there was definitely no airstrike that happened and it was a failed PIJ rocket, but we'll put that aside. Point being that that photo was never released and we found out that the hospital was untouched that a month, month and a half later today, we'd still be thinking an extra 800, which would have been very much a lie. EU third party source showed that it was 10 to at most 50. So the same Gaza health ministry, Hamas, the same group that lied and exponentially gave us a number that was significantly more than anything that was true, up to 80 times higher which could have been even higher because I'm sure the next morning if they weren't caught, they would have given us an even higher number. But we're just supposed to believe them when the much more technologically advanced Israel has to wait month and a half between investigations, finding stuff, which remember they keep saying they can't even find some of the bodies are starting to rubble, we'll put that aside for a second. Yet they're able to find all this information out within minutes. But Israel, who's more technologically advanced, can do more of an investigation they take this long, which makes sense that they take this long. That would make sense for anyone being truthful. Interesting. Happy Thanksgiving this year. I am thankful for the IDF fighting not just for Israelis, not just for Jewish people, but honestly for the entire world. Fighting the Islamic extremism that will not stop at Israel is vital to our future as the world. I'm Yisrael Chai. Happy Thanksgiving. God bless.